Oh, that's nice. That's going to help me sleep. So when I was on my vacation back in March of 2021, I took along a fan and it started to get noisy. So I stopped by a local Walmart somewhere in either Arizona or New Mexico. And I picked up this Honeywell fan. But check this out. It's only been a few months since I bought this thing. The motor runs, but the blades don't turn. What the F? Come on, Honeywell. You gotta make something better than this. So this has not been dropped. It's not been abused. I think the fan just became detached from the motor shaft. So let's pull it apart and see if we can make this thing work once again. Well, there's the problem. The fan blade is no longer attached. So I'm seeing a D-shaped shaft right here, and the fan assembly is D-shaped, but I'm not seeing a nut. It's nowhere down in here. It's not in here. So, where's the freaking nut? Did it fall off somewhere? Oh, it did not put one on from the factory. It just kind of pressed on right there. Unbelievable. Horrible craftsmanship. Maybe I can find a nut. I don't know. Is it a standard quarter 20? It's probably metric. Well, I had absolutely no success in trying to find a nut for this because it's freaking left hand thread. It's metric and it's left hand thread. Where am I going to get a nut for this stupid thing? So, <laughs> way to go, Honeywell. You really dropped the ball on this thing. Look at that. So at this point, I'm thinking hot glue to the rescue. What else can I do? Where am I going to find a freaking left hand thread nut? So I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to warm up. And I thought, I've never used the oscillation feature. There's no blades on it right now, obviously, but it is running. So I thought, I'm just going to go and test this out. Oh, that's nice. That's going to help me sleep. Oh yeah, that's really good. Uh-huh. Gonna have to keep moving it every eight seconds. Sometimes it'll overcome it. There it goes. Very herky-jerky though. Oh man, Honeywell, you should be freaking ashamed of yourself to make a product that is this freaking bad. I mean, look at that thing. Is it smooth? Uh, not even close. So I think this thing has a two year warranty. Oh yeah, that's really nice. The ticking sound in the middle of the night, that's gonna help me sleep. Look how clunky this thing is. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, let's glue some blades back on it and see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the motor shaft a little bit to help the hot glue melt and take form. So I'm heating it with 600 degree air right now. That should be pretty good. Next, I'll just go ahead and inject some hot glue into this in the center. There we go. And I'll put a nice blob of hot glue down in here to secure the threads. And except for the oscillation feature, we'll call that fixed. Okay, hot glue is cool. Let's fire this thing up and see what happens. And it runs and the blade does not fly off. Such a terrible disappointment from Honeywell. So because this thing is less than a year old, and I think it has a two year warranty, in fact, I think I have the box. Wait one moment. So I do actually have the box. I saved it. It is flattened out, but I still have the original box that it came in. And as you can see right here, it has a one year warranty. Well, it's less than a year, so I think I'm gonna get a hold of Honeywell and see what they have to say. Anyhow, this is the Honeywell Turbo Force 
fan. What's the back say? Anything different? It's just in a different language. Three speed settings, 35 feet. Arrows shooting at you, I'm not sure. Energy savings, I have no idea what that means. Wall mount options, three screws not included. Oh, isn't that nice? Carrying handle, oscillates, doesn't say with or without noise, pivoting head, and fused safety plug. And there we go, right there. Questions, 1-800-477-0457 or HoneywellPluggedIn.com. And there are some of the other notes based on testing, highest speed setting, 25 quieter. Well, I actually don't want quieter, I want louder. And some of the blah, 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 one year limited warranty. See enclosed owner's manual, okay? Well, let's take a look at that. I happen to have the owner's manual right there. Fuse plug, wall mounting, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here is the one-year limited warranty. This one-year limited warranty applies to repair or replacement of product found to be defective in the materials or workmanship. This warranty does not apply to damage resulting from commercial abuse, unreasonable use, or supplemental damage. Defects that are the result of normal wear and tear will not be considered manufacturing defects under the warranty. KAZ USA Incorporated is not liable for incidental or consequential damages of any nature, any implied warranty or merchant ability or fitness for a particular purpose on this product is limited in duration to the duration of this warranty. What the hell does that mean? So they do have another number right here. It's probably the same one, 1-800-477-0457 or email customer relations at HelenOfTroy.com. What the heck is that? It's not even Honeywell. Come on, people. And other languages. Anyhow, that is the original owner's manual that I still have saved in the flattened cardboard box. But anyhow, there it is. The Honeywell Fan Fail. So I'm probably going to contact Honeywell and see if I can get a replacement for this thing. Even though it is working, but the oscillation totally sucks. I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Everyone, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.